Buongiorno, buonasera, benvenuti amici, welcome my friends and welcome to my channel in this third episode of a series of five where the Fountain Pen Therapy will be awarding its annual pen awards, we'll be looking at the category of the best filling mechanism. And the nominees are... Okay, well now uh, we're back. Now I'm going to do things a little bit differently rather than show you one pen at a time. Um, I decided that for this particular category, which is the best filling mechanism, that I'd give you uh, an aerial view, at least, of all my nominees. And really, you know, they're not, I don't pretend there's 12 nominees, but there are not 12 different filling mechanisms. I don't think there are 12 different filling mechanisms that exist in the world, if you know what I mean. So I have several pens or a few pens from each category and maybe just one that's a little more unique or two. Uh, just because I, I couldn't choose which one and I, what, I did want to show you a few pens that had similar systems and compared them. So here they are. I'm not going to declare who the winner is until the end or at least the top three. Okay, but we'll, we'll take a look at different filling mechanisms and we'll start with, if you will, this pen bbs 309 now as you will see i've chosen several P pen bbs pens just because i find that they're well there's two things one in terms of value what you get for your dollar it, it's hard to beat i must tell you and i think they've gone an extra the extra mile to provide a well-designed pen um, with different filling mechanisms. Uh, and, and I think that that's to be applauded, you know. And a lot of them are demonstrators such as this one where you could actually see the mechanism. Now, what's interesting about Pen BBS, there's a couple of things I'd like to point out. Let me just, okay. First thing, you see the, there is a, when you unscrew it, you can tell that there is a little slot there. Right here, there's a barrel and there is a seal right there. So that when you screw in your, your pen, it effectively seals the nib from, from capturing any air and the theory being that it will prevent it from, from drying up. So a lot of these pens, you'll see the pen BBS pens, do have that mechanism or that system, if you will. Second thing, in terms of the filling mechanism itself, this is a what I guess you would refer to as a piston filler. So it draws up the ink as you turn it. Okay, so it draws up the ink, and um, if you play it right and make sure you get all the air out initially, especially, you have two choices. You can either uh, pump up the ink that way and get your fill this way sorry let me just uh, focus so you just turn it and, and that's that's the maximum it goes the other way of doing things is to open it up and it's got a nice tight seal I gotta tell you is to take your syringe or a pipette or a pipette and fill it up that way you don't have to turn anything you just fill it all up and you get your maximum amount of inks now while I'm here, what I like about Pen BBS is, you see that that ring, that seal, is replaceable. All of that is replaceable. All this mechanism can be removed, washed out, and it's a very nice tight seal so that the eyedropper doesn't leak at all. So very rarely do you, will you see a Pen BBS pen. Just let me screw that in for you. Okay, and very rarely, once you've locked it in, very rarely will you see ink in the barrel, just because of the tight seal. And what's also a lot of fun is that they sell all the all the parts. You know, if it, you know, part of the barrel, if you will, the 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 uh, the washers or the little sealers. You can see the little seal, little plastic. Uh, rings there 
And all the pieces, you can buy this, I think, for a few dollars and you have spare parts, which is very, very interesting. Very rarely do you see that with any other manufacturer. Now, is the quality up to snuff? Maybe not. Maybe that's why they have all these parts. Certainly, I can tell you that the the feed is very, very, on the pen BBS pens are very, very, very weak. The the uh, little tanguettes here are, uh, <laughs> let me tell you, if you push on them or if you press them a little bit too hard, they, they bend on you. But on the other hand, the flow is beautiful. So that's something to keep in mind. And so my, that's my 309. Similarly, with a very similar system, which is just a piston filler, in other words, you turn, you turn the knob here and it fills it up. Now this one here, I, I'm not going to do it because I've got ink in it. And as you can see, there's some ink that has a, some, some very nice shimmer in there. One of the reasons why I chose this pen, this is the Narwhal Yellow Tang, I think they, they call it. One of the reasons I like this pen, is this was, one, if not from the original series of Narwhal, now they're coming up with some gorgeous, gorgeous pens. Prices have gone up, but they, they are much better... Uh, much better design and colors and resins, etc. But it's this swirl, this this resin swirl is just captivated me. I think I have three or four colors. I have a pink version, a green, a blue, a uh, pink purplish, I should say, and, and then this yellow. And the fun part is that you can get a lot of ink in this barrel because this thing goes all the way back. And I think somebody's measured it. I think you can get 1.5 milliliters of ink in there which compares to about 0.8 milliliters um, in, in a standard uh, international cartridge. So very similar system. So it's another piston filler. A third piston filler on my list is the Twisby Diamond uh, 580 ALR. Again, I've got all the colors. Uh, I've collected them all. What's interesting about this piston filler is, well, there's two things about the, the Twisby that I, that I really appreciate. First of all, um, you'll see the piston filler goes all the way back. The top knob doesn't stays in place. In other words, the mechanism turns. This knob doesn't go up and then goes back down. It stays in place, as you can see. Uh, so it's it's a unique system in, in that sense. I think you can get a lot more ink than other piston fillers. And of course, what I appreciate about, about, about Twisby is that one, their prices are very competitive. They have a very nice number five nib. This is a uh, another stub, a stub number five. I think it's a 1.4. Uh, and all of this you can take apart. You can take it all apart, clean it, and put it back together, which is wonderful. So Twisby makes my list. In fact, they've made uh, several... In several of my categories, I have Twisby in there. And, you know, it's it's... It's dollar as well is important. I mean, you can you can have a ten thousand dollar pen, and you can be reassured that the piston filler in that pen is of quality. At least one would hope. But can you get quality, functionality? You know, somewhat of a, a design. Um, you know, uniqueness in the design, and only pay forty fifty dollars. That's a challenge, and that's where these pens come in. Now, I know some of you will say, well, you know, I own this and I own that. And I, I understand. I, I mean, there's a lot of pens that would be, you know, in terms of value, I'm not sure. You know, is, 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 can you justify $10,000 for a pen or $3,000 for a pen? But these things go for $20, $30, and they're completely functional. And, you know, I've replaced, for example, on my Narwhal, I didn't like their nibs. I replaced it with a uh, Leonardo uh, Officina, Momento Zero, they're, that's the original stub nibs that they used because they were Bach nibs. People complained about the Bach nibs, they changed. They're now with Joe or Yovo, as I've been uh, reminded to pronounce, Yovo. Uh, they have Yovo nibs now. But you know what? I took all my Momento Zeros because I have several, removed the nibs, changed them for the Yovo, took Take, and I've taken these box and I've put them on other pens that I that I like to enjoy. So this is a stub Leonardo Bach nib. And I think I've replaced most of my pen BBS nibs just because one of the drawbacks of pen BBS is they don't make anything larger, I think, than... Mind you, they have now have a series of different nibs and uh, difficult to get, but 
generally speaking, you'll only get fine, extra fine, and if you're lucky, medium. But they won't have anything higher than that. So that's another piston filler. Now, so the the fourth pen that I have that's a piston filler is this Penlux Masterpiece Le Grand. Folks, this pen has become my everyday pen. Um, I love its size. I love its character. The piston filler w mechanism works wonderfully. It's a huge, by the way, you can you know, a huge barrel, so you can fit a lot of ink in there. Okay. Their nibs are Yovo nibs, but I don't know what they do to them. But they, I think I have two or three of these, and they're just exquisite. You know, right out of the box, no adjustment necessary, no fine tuning. They, they, it's as if they're softer than normal Yovo nibs. And they just come down so nicely on paper. I got to tell you, very hard to beat. So when I choose my 10 pens for the week, this one is not even a question. It, 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 it's a permanent, it has a permanent place in my, in my pen case. Uh, very nice. Um, and this is my favorite color amongst all of the uh, Pen Lux pens that I have. Uh, it really, really is nice. So there you go. That's so. That's another piston filler. So I have four piston fillers here, different values, obviously. You know, you can buy these two. You can buy this one for I think I paid around fifty, sixty dollars at the time. This one was like twenty-ish. Uh, the Twisby is sixty, seventy dollars, and this one is much cheap, much much more expensive, obviously. Yeah. Now, the next type of filling mechanism are represented here by. Again, two pen BBS pens. First of all, my pen BBS 456. Um, look at that pen. Isn't that isn't that gorgeous? Um, I mean, you know, the, the that green light demonstrator resin combined with this gold. It's got its its beautiful diamond shaped clip, which is I think a classic for pen BBS has become a standard. It's got Pen BBS written on this matte finish, this gold matte finish, I think is just, just exquisite. It, it, it makes it a lot of fun. It's an eye catcher. Every time I use this pen and I'm in a meeting, they say, oh, what kind of pen is that? You know, the green color just jumps out at you. And it has, once again, that mechanism where you could seal. Okay, that Pen BBS, is once you seal your pen, it prevents it from driving, drying. Then, as far as the... The filler is concerned, this is not a piston filler. This is what they refer to as a vacuum filler. So what you do is you pull it up and then you put it into your bottle. You push down, okay? And as you push down the vacuum, okay, as you put it now, it's a little tough because it's, it has to be lubricated. As you push down, the ink draws up. So that's the vacuum. And then you can lock it in. It has a, you can turn it and, um, and you can slot it in. So that little, the little tip of the vacuum rod will, will uh, effectively seal the hole there. So that's my 456. This is a good size pen. Not huge, a little bit bigger than, or maybe just same size. Yeah, same size as a Twisby. And then I have another vacuum filler from Pen BBS. I love this pen. It's the 355. Okay. Again, take a look at this. I I I, I think it's it's a beautiful demonstrator. You know, um, and you know the classic diamond shape clip. Uh, really nice size, nice girth. A little bit thicker than my 456. Um, again, it's that, uh, you know, it's got that sealing system. Uh, this one I've, you know, I've put in a, uh, what is that? Yeah, it's a Joe 1.1. Again, the same thing. You can open up the valve and then you draw it up. Okay. And then when you put it into your, sorry, when you put it into your uh, bottle, you push down and the ink draws up by itself. That's the vacuum uh, system that it has. And then you can just lock it in a little bit here. So, you know, less, less of a flow or more of a flow. It's not a complete seal. I must admit, it's not a complete seal. 
So there's always some ink that will will penetrate and go into the into the rest of the pen. So those are my two vacuum uh, fillers. Then I have this Twisby Go. Twisby Go. The reason why this this is a very fairly inexpensive pen. Uh, I've got two of these. What I like about it is the filling me mechanism. Take a look at this. This is all you do is you push in. So again, you push in, and then you draw out. And nice and slow and it'll fill up your pen isn't that it's unique i i haven't seen many of those i'm wondering if, if they're the only ones that do that it's not the prettiest of mechanisms but you know it's different it's different and you know what uh, different things that you know should be applauded it's a different design it works very well it's it's of quality of design it's not going to break very easily um and you know it's got a ceiling system here as well sorry there you go you know right there similar to pen bbs and fairly inexpensive this is you can buy this i think for 20 30 dollars if i'm not mistaken i hope i'm not anyway and you know it's got some character i think i have a gray one and a and this blue one so uh, you know look i think i think it's uh, it's you know for the dollar it's a nice filling mechanism now Another pen BBS, and you're going to say, wow, you have a lot of pen BBS on your... Because just because they have so many different filling mechanisms, and I, I have to applaud them. This is a limited edition uh, Year of the Rat uh, pen, because they have a, you know, they have a, uh, a pen for every, for every uh, you know, New Year, Chinese New Year. And um, I found this pen really fascinating for the following reasons. Now, first of all, I like the design, I like the matte finish, but it it does have the same sealing system here. But what's unique about this is that the drawing of that filler that you see there is controlled by a magnet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, folks, a magnet. So now forgive me because normally i mean it's a unique system but it's not perfect okay i i'd be the first one to admit it but you've got to congratulate them for at least trying so this thing has to be lubricated and what you do is you put a little bit of grease there when you use it and it'll work perfectly but so now you can see that the draw is a little difficult you know yeah i gotta i gotta move it around and it takes you know it doesn't draw properly but once you put that sealing uh, mechanism or the the the, the, the you, you 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 grease it up it's a lot of fun and you know you gotta you gotta give it to them that they've come up with something very 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 different and it works and it does work when you when you grease it up it works so you know they uh, is it perfect no it's not perfect but they have to be congratulated that they went that extra way to find to find the you know to put in a unique a unique filling mechanism and that's what this award is all about isn't it so there you go the next two categories are are okay this is not a vacuum fill i don't believe it is in any event nor is it a piston fill the way what i would say this is this is a and they're both very similar i'm going to start with first of all this very inexpensive majan okay, or what used to be moon man Look at this pen. I mean, I think I paid this thing like seven, eight dollars, okay, uh, on, on Amazon or maybe Etsy. I forget. Look at the resin. I mean, this transparent resin is just, just fabulous. It's got some nice girth. It's, it's a torpedo shaped. You know, it reminds one of Mont Blanc's one forty nine, although it's, it's, it's a little more. It's meatier than the, the 149, I would say. Look at that very nice small clip. Is it the most functional clip in the world? Probably not because of its size, but it adds some character to this pen. Let me just get the focus there. Look at it. I think it's just, it's the C4, I believe this is. They refer to it as the Majon C4. I think for the price, it has to make my list. And the drawing system is you open it up because this one seals so the rod let me just uh, my camera is playing games with me here we go the 
the when you when you screw it in, it actually locks and seals, so no no ink can go into the rest of the barrel. And then when you open it up, depending on what flow you want, more ink will go in. But this is not meant to draw the ink, nor is it meant, I think, to be a vacuum. This is just a rod that seals. So it's really an eyedropper. You open it up, you fill it up, and so you can you can play around with the with the rod without fearing, you know, without pushing the ink. Uh, in the filling mechanisms, the other ones, if you fool around with it, obviously you can bring some ink to the barrel, uh, to the tip. Uh, but this one, no. This one is just, it's just a sealing mechanism there. And it seals, it prevents the ink from flowing and possibly slipping into the cap. Okay, so that's the Magon. So, uh, what, uh, just my camera is just playing games. There we go. Okay, so that's the match on. And that brings me to the last one, which is the Opus 88 demonstrator. This is, I got to tell you, this is one of my favorite pens. And I have to uh, tell you that I, I just really like that, uh, that clip. Take a look at that clip. Isn't that nice? The resin um, is, is is really really nice on this pen it's a huge pen as you can see i think it, it 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 hovers over it matches my my or even bigger than my pen lux the quality of the resin is just fabulous um, nice size it's got good girth their nibs are joe nibs but always they always come out of the box really well well tuned this is a 1.5 stub, I believe. And again, it has a very similar system where if you want flow to get into your, your mechanism, then you open up the sealer that's there and you let the ink flow. And when you're finished today, you can just trap, you know, put it down. I've heard that that is a great mechanism when one travels on a plane because, you know, with plane, plane and fountain pens don't go together unfortunately and i think that would prevent any uh, any any spillage and or any accidents so that's the opus 88 demonstrator and i think that my three top three that i would vote in my opinion would be one two and my pen bbs uh, 355 and the winner amongst these three this would be third runner-up second runner-up but I've got to go with the to wispy in terms of the filling mechanism you know Majon just copied it I think um, and this opus is 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 um, is my favorite um, uh, my favorite uh, filling mechanism it, it really works really really nicely Look at that barrel. I mean, I can put a lot of, if I can put a lot of ink in the narwhal, I can put almost a hell of a lot more in this one. That That's for sure. Sorry, once again, the my camera's playing games with me. Here we go. So uh, very nice, very nice. So that's the winner. So the 2023 Fountain Pen Therapy Annual Award for the Best Filling Mechanism goes to my Opus 88 demonstrator. That's it for me, folks. Uh, that's it for. Stay tuned for the next award. This is number three in the episode, in episode, in, in, in five episodes. I've got two more to go. I hope you're enjoying this. Let me know what you have in terms of filling mechanisms. You know, like I said in my trailer, uh, you know, these are all based on pens that I have in my collection. The modest, I mean, I, you know, I have four or five hundred dollar, five hundred pens. I don't have thousands, and I don't pretend to have all the best pens that exist on this planet. So, you know, and I want to present more than just two or three to make things fun. Uh, but let me know what you, what you have in terms of pens with filling mechanism. They're original. And you know what? I'll put them on my bucket list. I know a lot of you have suggested things for the other awards, and they're all well appreciated. And I think you're very right to point out some of those things. Fortunately, we're not part of my collection, but I, I can tell you that they've now made my bucket list. And when I have the money and I can trigger the purchase, I will. So let me know, subscribe, have some fun with your pens, enjoy, it's Fountain Therapy. Thank you.